Hello and in this video we are going to learn three different ways to write 001 in Excel. Now the most common method is to put a single quote before the number and this will force Excel to treat it as text and not number. Now this works but imagine that you are doing data entry and you have hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands of rows and for each row you will need to type single code and then 001. That could take a lot of time and it could really make the data entry process a lot slower. Now a second method is to format the column as text. So just click on the column itself, go to number, go to the default is general but you can format it as text. And anything that is typed here will be displayed exactly as it is. So 001, 002, and 003. But there is a catch. Now, because these um, numbers are formatted as text, it will be impossible for you to sort or filter or do any calculation with this text. For example, if we want to do a simple sum, we cannot do that because these are text and not numbers. Now, is there a better alternative? Well, the answer is yes, and it's quite simple actually. Now, first select the column, or you can select the data range that you want to format. Then go to number format, and then click on the last option, which is custom. Now, many of you might have gone here already, and then because there are so many categories for us to choose from, so we got confused, but don't worry. So just go to the type dialog box, and then press 000 and this will tell Excel that we want a three digit number and that we want the first number to be zero whenever possible. So click OK. Now let's delete this and do it again. Now, okay, so 001, yes. Um, how about just type one? Yes, even if you just type one, it will automatically convert to 001. Now, how about 21? Yes, see, 021. Now, how about 123? There you go. Now because these are number, so it's very easy to sort and filter them. So let's say that these are student ID. So let me put it into a table. So insert table. Yes. And now because these are number and not text, so we can sort from smallest to largest or we can sort from largest to smallest. And this will be very easy. Imagine if you want to put every 10 students into a group and assign a supervisor to them. Or if this is a guest list and you want to put every 10 guests into a separate table, then you can also do that easily. So you have the best of both worlds without any messy manual work. And that's it. Happy learning and see you in the next video.